Welcome back to WAPO! In a new year! Nay, a new decade! Fancy that. It won't really feel so magical for me until probably another, like, week or something when I actually record what is after New Year. I'm sure I'll feel all of the magic then. Last time we completed most of the guest house, I just have this ritual left to do, and I know that the ritual takes this stuff. I'm supposed to have it in spooky mode, unless they've changed that, which I guess I kind of want to find out. So let's go and not make it spooky mode. And I'll just see if I can, like, can you even, like, get past this guy in any way? No, he's kind of annoying. I think I have to kill him. I really... Oh, wait. No, you definitely have to kill him. Yeah, I still don't really understand. Like, it's it's nice that they made him less tanky, but... Why have him come back within the same ghost mode? At least make it so that when you change it back to this stuff and then ghost mode again, then he respawns. That's fine, but... Within the same ghost mode, they shouldn't just come back. That doesn't make any sense. Also, I don't know if I said this on camera, but I did notice that the bucket actually does replenish in the save bucket. Even though I said it didn't anymore, and I'm like starting to doubt myself. Did it work like this before? Because I could have sworn the save bucket just like 0 to 100 a hundreded you when you had the bucket, you just jumped in, you had a full bucket, because you just saved, you got everything back. But now, it's like as if you're in water, so it'll just take a long time. A long time. I do not feel like this actually happened before. Am I wrong on that? Because it also takes a long time for it to even start, so it's, it's really strange. I just don't remember that being a thing, but I might be wrong. Alright. So yeah, here we see... Wait, but here we see, like, junk, junk, two food items, whatever this is. But here we... here it makes sense, at least. Wait, and I can't push that down? Wait, I can't do anything? Hey, Scallywag, this place kind of looks like a place where you'd perform rituals. And as far as I know, rituals use usually require very specific circumstances. Do you remember that glyph we saw right before entering this room? It looked like... whatever that is. What about it? Well, I've been studying those glyphs since we entered this place, and I think it means that it has to be dark here. Dark enough for creepy monsters to appear. <laughs> How did you figure that out? Oh, uh, well, have you ever seen an hourglass? Yes. Those look like hourglasses, don't they? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I know they look like hourglasses, but how does it make sense that like, this is dark, or what do you mean? Like, why is it specifically the bottom one? If this is bright and this is dark, why is the bottom one like, oh, the sand hasn't fallen, therefore it's bright? I mean, sure, that makes sense, but you could also say the sand is all, like, still there, which means it would be dark, and then the sand falls away and it's it's bright in the top one, so it I don't even know. These, this symbolism doesn't make sense to me. And I figured the bright side is where the light comes from. So when the sun lights... So when the sun lights the sky, the bright side is up. But when the sky is dark, we create light from the underground. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, that's my theory, at least. I realize it's a very loose one. Very loose, thanks, Navel. I'm probably wrong. But since we can control how dark it is in this place, we could give it a shot anyway? I think you are very smart. Probably smarter than you should be. Aw, oh, really? Thanks, Scallywag. I think you are very smart too. Wah. 
I'm not, though. So... Wait, let's see. But then that still doesn't make any sense. We, we create light down here while it's dark upstairs? Or is this reversed because it's like written in the white stuff and this is actually dark below and light up in the sky? It still doesn't make any sense. That just doesn't make any sense. It's not a good way to symbolize anything. I don't understand why they left that in. It's just nonsense. Oh, man. And even with Scallywag basically telling you literally exactly what to do, it's still just like, that still doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. I don't think they really made the guest house all that much better, even now. Yeah, like, how does this make any sense still? I don't know. But now it's dark. Whoa. Alright, well that's more obvious at least. That I'm like, doing something. And then the two Bleakin are in positions. And we were able to figure out, kind of, I again, I don't feel like a person that doesn't know what it's asking you to do would be able to figure out that, oh, it means anything goes on the uh, hashtags and food goes on. I mean, the food one makes sense, a pair. That you can definitely understand, but this one, I'm not sure about. And I guess I'll just do, oh, can I do this? Oh, I can't, damn, that would have been great. Oh, damn, I thought I had more cheap fishing hooks, honestly. I mean, coupons are literally worthless for me right now, I think. So, sure, let's use coupons. Oh, yeah, wait, and... Yeah, they actually... Oh, wait, it needs to be food here? Again? No. No, I see. The food one will light up both of these, and this one needs to have all four, and then those two will light up. Okay, so that actually does make sense. Also, I guess I should use the worst coupons, even though I have more of these. Yeah, let's just use those. Yeah, if I just do these two, nothing. Now these two light up, and then we have one food item, which can be anything, so I guess I'll just make it... Uh... Let's just use channel weed, I think. Yeah. See, now that actually does make a lot more sense. You only push these down once you get a clear indication that you did something right. You now activated this portion of the ritual. So this stuff definitely improved, massively improved. So that's good because it really did not make any sense before and it didn't like have any feedback whatsoever. Greetings. It has been a very long time since I have been formally invited into this world. I wonder if there's something new here since he showed up before, but maybe not. Thank you for your sacrificial objects. I especially like the edible object you brought to me this time, Channel Weed. In return for Nogurt, I should bring shall bring new Fnuist to the ones you have lost. Now I shall return to Cranktorium and continue building a world for my Fnustful inhabitants. I thank you for your contribution. May our worlds connect in peace one day. Farewell. I'll try to think of something. Yeah, most of this is not different. Melodies to activate. Wait, one can change tones using W, A, S, and D. Note combinations are usually displayed on the devices. One should be able to open doors in this room. Okay, so I think they changed this as well. Um, so what should I... Why are, why are these, like, all the way over here? That should be fine. Should I keybind this as well? I don't know. Do I need to? It's kind of an awkward binding anyway, but sure. So yeah, now you can do... That works. Yeah, exactly. I can just hold the button and click, and it just skips the middle one. Or I can hold it down, then click right, let go, hold it down, 
click left, let go, which is what they intended initially, but now you can do my method as well. No, you cannot. What the hell? Yeah, that's a problem. If I hold right, tap it, it's now on right. I am not holding anything right now, and then I tap it again, and it's still on right. Then it goes back to middle. It should just, if you're not holding anything, it should just be on neutral. Which it does now, but if you hold it down, that, that almost seems more like a bug than anything. This is almost as good as it should be, but not quite. Yeah, weird. And we get those two. Find a way to lure them. Oh, it didn't die. I thought I would. Kind of would have been annoying if I did, so I don't know why I even did that. Would have been a stupid thing. Alright, but I also need to fix the whole thing here with, like, raising it up a lot. Is it as high as it needs to be? I think it might be too high at this point to get into the, uh, orrery room or whatever you want to call it. God damn it. Wait, can I just walk in here? Oh, I can. Yeah, that works. Wait, Minifnack can talk here as well? What in the world is that? The universe. Haha, what? I have no idea. It looks sort of sweet, though. Uh, I think this is what the universe looks like, according to the Bleakin. Looks pretty complicated. Wah. But you don't get anything here. I know you like... There was a hint that I read from the fortune teller, but I thought you got this... You got happiness like twice here. The first time just when you got near it and... Uh, Dang Snapple would just like talk about it, right? And then another one where you sat and like... Just stared at it for minutes on end. Then it happened again, but is it because I need to turn this or something? Turn this on? Because again, like in that room, it said both for some reason. It was like showing both nighttime and daytime or light and dark. How does that make any sense? Wait, and yeah, what's this? I don't really know, like, this is not the combination that you press to make it light or dark, so... I don't know what that means. Yeah, no? Nothing? And again, this is one of the harder ones to get, so I'm not sure I should sit here and get it, because I feel like... I want to get the hint for it, which... I thought there were two, so I thought I had gotten the hint for the, like, easy one, and I wanted to come here after having done that, and then... Or, I wanted to come here, get the easy one, then go back and get a hint, and get the hint for the hard one, but I guess they might have merged them at this point? Which is even weirder, because the one where you got it immediately was the one that made sense, not the one where you sit there for a long time, but... Maybe I'm misremembering, and you actually didn't get any happiness right away. I don't know. Ow. Out. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, they made that easier as well. Nice. That seems to have been made more consistent as well, so it actually just works. I can't jump this, can I? I don't think I can, even with like a double... Even with a double, I don't think I can, and I don't even think I can do a double. No, I can't. So never mind that. Yeah, get happiness there. I kind of... Man, I should have... I, I just saved. I'm gonna not do that one. Because that, again, this is one of the weirder ones. The ones that are, like, really hard to know that it's even a thing. So I kind of want to skip this one and see what the hint is for it. Whoops. Because, yeah, what are they gonna tell you about that? Oh, just go look at murals. The old, ancient, bleakened murals. Like, how would you know that? How would you tell which way you're supposed to go? Can't talk to this guy. Can't even shoot this guy. Oh, you can. But I'm pretty sure he never dies. Yeah, he's immortal. All right, fair enough. So I assume we can still skip the uh, church knackers. Looks like it. And here as well. Or did they change this? Oh, oh no, that's no fun. Did they change? The church snacker skip? Oh, That's not fun at all. That was like one of the more fun things you could do. You could skip an entire boss fight. Hold on, I'm just gonna drop down here. Oh, that's new, I think. I don't remember this part. Yeah, there's nothing here. That's really disappointing, honestly. I really wish they didn't fix that. Because that was such a fun trick. You could get over here and then just like jump over up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't now. What's even the point of this mushroom? Yeah. It's kind of close, but I don't think you can do it. Oh my god, you can! You can still do it! Holy crap, it's definitely been changed though. That's a lot harder to do. Like, so much harder to do. But you can do it! And there are the church snackers, so yeah, you can still skip them. Nice. Uh, do I want to? I guess I'll just actually fight them, because why not? Alright, well that's, that's good. They made an easy trick into a much harder one, but at least you can still do it. Which is kind of the, the big thing. Whoa, you can just like kill them from up here? Or do they... Nope. Yeah, they're dying. There we go. Boss complete. Weird. I feel like that didn't work like that before. Now if I just kill off like two of these guys... There, and then jump down. 
He just doesn't give a shit. Hello? Hey, I'm a wom. Why don't you care? This is even more weird. Ah, I fucked up. Ah, whatever, I'm gonna just load. I'm gonna test one more thing. What? What what happened there? I didn't kill him, did I? Did I kill him right at the end? I didn't see. Also, let me just use this instead. Yeah, I feel like that's much faster. Okay, so now I leave and come back. They're back. Okay, and then I go down and do it the proper way. Then it's a boss fight. What if I go up there with Mini Fnack? I am very glad that you can still skip it, at least. Would have been annoying if you couldn't. Yeah, you can't talk to them. But you kind of have to do something. Wait, I've loaded. Why is this here, even though I've loaded? That's weird. But then if I get up here and take this out, they don't even care. Now they care. What the hell? It's like they messed up this boss fight too. Very strange. There we go. Guess I'll stick with this because I want the uh, complete boss completion as well. Alright. No jumping until it's late enough. Actually, I kind of want to confirm that they haven't fixed this trick as well. Where you can do... Uh, wait. How did you do that trick again? You did, like... That. You didn't even need the boost jump there, I think. But I think the boost jump makes it easier up here. Yep, like that. Oh, but then I need to, like, stand here. And send it up, uh, down, and then up again. Shit. What happened? I couldn't jump. I can't jump. There we go. Oh no. Don't tell me they fixed it. Oh no. There we go. Oh, come on. Where are they fixing so many things? Like, fun things that... No one will ever experience if they don't actually try to break it. That's fun. You shouldn't patch stuff like that out of your games, in my opinion. Because it's fun. It's just, like, interesting. And now it's just bugged again. Or not bugged, but, like, messed up. I can't not have the screen shift. There we go. Now I can. Oh, man, that's so boring. Oh, that was a terrible jump. I guess you can still do... Okay, so I'm up here. Oh, crap. I didn't... I, like, double jumped, but I think the double jump didn't work. Or, like... Uh, instead of jumping... I spent the double jump on the first hit. Oh my god, please stop. Jesus Christ, what the hell? I just keep... I'm tanking every fucking hit. They're like homing. What the hell? Is that just bad luck or did they actually make them like specifically go where you are? That was insane. And then I missed it.
And yeah, that's different too. They didn't use... Okay. They didn't use to bounce on the mushrooms. I guess it was just bad luck. That seemed insane for a second there. So yeah, we can get up here. I'm gonna try this again. Good. No, why, why, why? Why did it use... I don't understand. There's something weird going on with, like, screen shifting. Where it's eating inputs and not working properly. There we go. Okay, you can do that. So, I guess you would have to do that in the speedrun now. Which is unfortunate, because you used to be able to skip this, which was really fun. But they've removed that, apparently. So now you have to do that, and then jump over here again. Yeah, and then play it again. So that's gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm, I'm sad that's gone. I don't see why you would change this, I just don't even understand. There is no legitimate reason for removing that when it's something that no one that doesn't know about it is ever going to have it happen. Or even, like, no one that isn't intentionally trying to have it happen? So yeah, disappointed by that. They almost ruined the church snacker skip as well, but that is still there, just very hard to do. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of kind of annoying changes in my opinion. Not too many changes that I'm actually super glad about in this part of the game so far, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna end it off there. Again, welcome to the new year, I suppose. Hopefully it's a good one. But my expectations, as always, are low. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!